Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life, Series 11. And for today's sketch, we have one by Sean Stiles Lar, and double page, plenty of photos, circle stars, um, title, and I have pretty much all of it. Maybe not exactly the same places, but pretty much all of it. I had my photos printed a long while back, and so they're not exactly the same size, so mine will be a little different. I am showing the dies I'm going to use, and I showed that airplane. I am not going to use that airplane, but I wanted to show you that I had some I could have used. And I found striped paper, and there is striped paper in the sketch here. And I thought, well, I have some with this collection, and this collection is Echo Park. Jack and Jill, the boy version. And it has a most beautiful wood grain. So I had to use it for my background. It's just, uh, it's got gray tones. And I just really, really like it. I decided I was going to map my photos in black and red. And uh, there is red in the collection. It has... Um, Blueprints, I believe it is on that page, but I didn't have enough to mat all these photos, so I used cardstock instead. And the pictures here, I think, are four by four. I think I didn't measure them, I'm just guessing. And so I thought, well, how am I going to get them on this side of the layout and get them to fit all the photos that I have? And so I started out just laying them there. <laughs> I decided I needed to figure out all the photos. However, I'm going to change my mind again because I think, man, i got to figure out room for my uh, punch art piece. And I need a little bit of space for it. So it will go on the layout on the second page with my photos so I can have them on there and have room for them too. I... As I mentioned, there's striped paper in the sketch, so I am using this striped paper. And I was using some scraps, and I thought, how am I going to use my other piece of scrap? So I decided to do a banner. There isn't a banner in the sketch, but that's a way to get some of the striped paper onto the second layout, too. Well, the other page. And um, I am not going to make my oh wait, a little dovetail thing here very big because I didn't want to cut any more off of it than I had to and I am inking everything I inked all the well everything in um watering can and it's um very lightly I don't have it inked very heavily at all but I wanted the edges inked because I planned on using them for my punch art. Well, I did use them on the punch art. I inked most of them ahead of time. I punched and inked ahead of time to make the video a little shorter. <laughs> and I will show that, well, you can see the punches there to the right, but I will show one especially, but they're mostly circles and ovals. And then I will be uh, freehanding some of the cuts. And even though um, I cut my piece of paper in half there, I knew I was going to have to make a gap between the photos to make it as long as I wanted and uh, stretch it as far as I can. Now this is how I plan to do it because of the sketch uh, similar to this. But to get my punch art to fit later, I will have to change these photos up just a little bit. So it's a good thing I stopped here. <laughs> and Because uh, it wasn't going to fit where I originally planned picturing in my head <laughs> this many photos and uh, some punch art and circles and uh, stars which I do have a different way to put my circles for sure I just couldn't picture it good enough I guess because yeah I'm gonna have to change all those photos around I started out with let's see half an inch punch and then I worked up from there that red one's a one and a quarter no it's a one inch and then the black one 
that will come next will be a one and a quarter inch. But I will also, and I will also pull out a larger one. I believe it is a one and three quarters inch. I am going to make a mistake in a second. And you're probably all watching and thinking, okay, don't she need that piece on there? <laughs> and yes, I need that piece on there. And it will go on there, but it'll go just a tiny bit late. I put a brad on the back of this and I had to cut one of the little, uh, uh, well, the wings on the brad. I had to cut one of them a little bit off because it was just a tiny bit too long. If I had waited and put um, another layer behind there, but it's afraid it'd be too thick to go through without maybe tearing my paper or wrinkling it. If I'd waited, I wouldn't have had to trim it, but I did trim it. But I forgot my uh, propeller there. <laughs> and you all seen I had to take it apart and put it on. The propellers are from the Tim Holtz Steampunk parts. And I had two. And I had to decide which one to use. And I decided to go with the one I liked the shape better. And it was the bigger one. And I am, let's see, what am I doing? Oh, oh, I took that pedal and I trimmed off the bottom to make it a little more flat, not a whole lot. And then I had a one inch oval punch and I just cut the tip end of each one of them. I didn't cut the whole, those two gray pieces. They were just, instead of me cutting the whole thing and then guessing and going across, I just took and the edge of my punch and went right in the edge of the paper and clipped and I left that little point on there because I thought well I could just glue it straight on to the black piece that I plan to glue it on and it will just look like another body part on the train uh, plane and here I've got four pieces cut and those are I believe they were three eighths inch. I'm pretty sure they were because I made sure I looked at the amount. But uh, I free handed the tail the wings there and I'm going to forget the little center part of it for a minute. But I will remember I cut these parts the day before and then I kept getting phone calls and different things. And so I had to wait <laughs> and then I had to go to the doctor the next day and then uh, when I finally got back to it, I no more started on this plane and my daughter started calling. So I kept stopping and so I was a little bit absent-minded while I was doing it. Um, I cut four of these. I do not plan on four wings, but I wanted to layer them because I made another plane. Oh, it's probably been a year and a half ago. And for my grandson's layout, he was in a national museum in D.C. And he um, visited, when he visited it, he got his picture taken with that plane. He was up on a balcony kind of thing. And he got the plane in the background. And so I thought, well, he wanted that picture for sure, you could tell. So <laughs> I made a plane to go with it. But... <laughs> I adjusted the colors in the photo just a tiny bit. And I didn't tell him. I figured he couldn't remember exactly the color because it's still yellow. <laughs> and I adjusted it to match my paper. But, uh, yeah, I will try to remember to link it below because it is really similar to this one. But I looked more professional making it, I think. Memory serves me correctly. And I had a picture right in front of me of the plane. Um, this one I did from memory. The uh, planes went back then, they were double and the double wings, you know, and they had these, well, I think they were guide wire looking things, but I made mine black and maybe a little thicker. So my plane would be a little more sturdy and I am just going to kind of crisscross them on here and um, it is a lot sturdier by the time I get done than when I started. It may not be straight, it may not be perfect, but it is a lot sturdier. And I can say that for it. And I do like it in the end.
I did fussy cut all those planes out well, a long time ago, not uh, while doing this layout. And they were a little on the dark side to go with the colors I was using and the wood grain. They weren't showing, you know, when I laid them on top of the layout, they weren't showing up as well as I wanted. I thought, well, I could just paper a piece of airplane instead and have it with more red and maybe it'll show up more like I want it to. I am making the supports for the legs here and I know I left them pretty long, but I thought that would help make them more sturdy instead of just kind of hanging off the bottom and have a little bit glued. And so I'm just laying the little parts that I already made right on top. And I think that's it besides the highlights on this plane. And uh, yeah, it didn't take too long to do it all once the punching, you know, well, the punching don't take too long either. But uh, you just use whatever you got. It don't have to be perfect. <laughs> uh, it is a handmade piece and you can just have fun with it. And even cut your cir circles by hand. I did that years ago or used a little jar or something to go around them. I was so glad when I slowly got my punches so I could use them, especially for the circles and the ovals. <laughs> but see how big my plane looks by the time I actually put it on the layout. I laid that one uh, part of the banner there and um, decided the you know, that was about where I was going to need it. However, it's going to get moved out just a little bit so that it will look longer. And I'm trying to get all these to fit too. I wanted, I, I had a plan to put something in the bottom right, some embellishing die cuts, but uh, putting these pictures on here I decided I need a little bit more room for that plane so that's why the I used my brain and decided to pull out my banner just a little bit farther it was making it hard on me trying to get it to fit but so far using my layout sketch as inspiration I've got lots of photos on my page striped papers I've got circles layered one right on top of each other instead of going around the page. And uh, I will have the stars around the page though. I will scatter them here and there. And there will be three little tiny stars that get put on after I take my pictures. And I was just gonna go from there that I thought, no, I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures with the stars on there. I am too short to see what that looks like on a double page layout. I have to hold, I guess I could have gone to the floor, but the lighting was so much better there. And I have to hold it above my head to get the whole thing. And I can't see nothing. So, yeah, I could use that other side and flip it and do it. But uh, then I'm looking up at the lights <laughs> and it's, it just don't work for me so I just take it side unseen so the first one of the pictures you will see will be spot on somehow I don't know how I did it it was spot on but it took like a dozen after I put those little stars on there and they were all bad even the last one so I am showing the one that's got all the edges on the layout first and then the individual little ones and then the last one will be the one that's a bit on the crooked side but i need to tell you what i'm putting on here i'm using die cuts i did get them uh, the world one off of amazon and also the um uh compass <laughs> mine went blank for a second there and but that little geotag is from one that's from recollections and I think that is the only one that I used out of there. I have the other two stored in with the recollections, but they are not recollection dies. I used my Stampin' Up! border punch to add the chevrons. There are no chevrons in the sketch, but I thought, well, I like to have some to show direction. I had one little sticker that was a arrow, and I wanted something on both pages, and I could punched arrows, but I decided I wanted the chevrons. And at first I put the red thinking, you know, uh, 
highlighting the red a little bit more. But then I decided I wanted all three colors. And the blue is, I had to look through my blues. I wanted one that was more subtle for my ocean on the uh, world. And uh, I really liked it. It went well with all the other colors on the layout. But while I am adding the rest of my stars, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the master link for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and all the videos. Mine is going up late today because, yeah, I'm already behind. And today's like day 15 or 16 or something. I don't know. <laughs> I would have to look. But since I have things going up this month... <laughs> Uh, in life, in life kind of things I, that I have to have done. I know that I probably will not get them all. And I do have three videos, I think it is, that I have to do. Well, I don't have to do them. I could always say I didn't make it. But I want to get them done, which I haven't touched, that are scheduled for other things at the end of the month. So, uh, like I said, and see the, the stars. Well, did I get the wrong one? Well, I must have accidentally deleted the one that was straight and looked really good, but no little tiny stars. But I put the little tiny stars around that little orange sticker that was just sticking out there that I kept planning on putting something else with and didn't find anything. But, um, yeah, there's my layout with my stars from my Confetti EK Success Bunch punch that I hate to say you cannot find anywhere because I've tried to help friends find them but uh, there's the world and it, it cuts out so good so does that other one but the, I had a compass uh, not punch that's a die I had a compass one but I really wanted uh, one that was more intricate and I did find one and I think that one's really cute but if any of you like it and want help finding it, I will help you find it. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my layout. If you leave a comment below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so very much. But have a happy scrappy week. Have fun with that link down there. And don't forget Facebook and Instagram. Lots, lots, lots more inspiration. Bye.